I'm here with Jonathan Melville, author of Seeking Perfection, the unofficial guide to the Tremors films. Jonathan, what inspired you to write a book about the Tremors movie? Oh, well, I basically I'm a huge Tremors fan. Who isn't? Uh, well, exactly. Everyone yeah. loves a Tremors film. And, um, you know, I saw the first one on telly in about 1992-ish. And, uh, and ever since then I've been looking out for the sequels and I always just wanted to know a bit more about them all I could ever find was a few things on you know, Wikipedia or whatever and no one had written a book on them so I thought I wanted to write a book I, and I love Tremors mm -hmm. perfect combination When you talk to people uh, and you know, we're here at the uh, Edinburgh HorrorCon promoting it are, do you find people are surprised to discover there are so many films based on the, the Tremors theory? Well, I'm surprised there are so many films based yeah. on Tremors. I mean, it's now up to, on Monday, as we speak, on Monday, uh, Tremors 6 is, re is released uh, in the UK. Mm -hmm. And um, and I mentioned that to people today, and even they're quite surprised by that. And Tremors 7 is on the way. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Bacon has just done a pilot for a TV series. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's uh, there's an incredible amount of Tremors out there. Mm -hmm. But they just keep making money. You know, one of the, the, the creators told me a few years ago, when I was doing the book, that uh, Universal Studios said to him at one point, we could put an empty, put out an empty box with Tremors on the cover, <laughs> and people would, would buy it. That's amazing. How yeah. many films and, and properties are covered in this book? I, when I started writing the book, there were four films and a TV series, and it was kind of that was the franchise was was dead as far as I was concerned. Right. So I think that's how I managed to speak to so many people. And they were happy to be honest about it, yeah. and then as I was about to publish it, they announced the fifth film. Right. And so I hurriedly. Driven you mad? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so I've got a little bit in there about Chambers Five, mm -hmm. but nothing about Chambers Six. So right. mainly the first four and the thirteen-part TV series. Mm -hmm. And who were you able to talk to for the book? I was able to speak to most of the people involved in the. Well, I say most. Most of the key people involved in the first film. So Kevin Bacon took about two years to get hold of. Right. But I finally got him. And he's, I know he's got two copies of it now, oh, yeah. because he came to Edinburgh and I handed him one copy and he had another one. Uh, Michael Gross, who's in, I think, all the films. Yeah, I mean, he's the real star of, he kind of, of is. Tremors at this point. Yeah, he sort of took over uh -huh. the lead from Tremors 3 onwards. Right. So him, um, from the first film, um, we've got the likes of Reba McIntyre as well, who's Bert's wife. Cool, yeah. Uh, Tony Gennaro, who played Miguel. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Melvin's in there, Mindy. Mm -hmm. Uh, various people, mm -hmm. lots of people, and then I spoke to about about fifty-five people from all the films in total. Uh -huh. So, and for people who maybe haven't seen the sequels, I mean, is it how how does Tremors evolve? Is it worth their time seeking these films out? I think it is. I think I said sort of in, in the introduction to the film uh, to the book that I think if you watch them out of order or you happen to see Tremors three on late night TV. Mm -hmm. It's good fun, right? But you maybe don't quite get the same. There's the one in the flow. wild west, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you need to to really watch them in order, right? Uh, just to sort of see the in jokes, to get the references, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in Tremors Four, uh, the ancestor of Burt Gummer, his future wife is, is a redhead and in the first film Reba McIntyre is a redhead now I'm not saying that was a deliberate an incredible mythology here but, uh, but little things like that and just little references and, and characters in the fourth film that have the same names and, and might be like an ancestor of people in the first film so there are connections but so I think you probably need to watch but when you get to Chambers 5 and 6 um, I don't know they kind of lose that right that flow a little bit. Talking of sequels, could you see yourself writing another book if they make enough movies over the next couple of years? Mm, uh, I don't know. No? <laughs> I think because the creators of the original franchise have been left out, they were really the... You know, they, they believed in it, they wanted to try and give things back to the fans. Uh, there are certain things they wouldn't do, they didn't want to break the rules of the thing they created. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, because they're out of it, I think it's not quite the same as it was. Uh, I'm not quite sure. There's, it's now a bit more production line. Mm, right. So for people who aren't lucky enough to be here today, how can they get a hold of a copy of the book? The best place is really Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yep, amazon.co.uk or .com. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should have it within two or three days. Definitely. Yep. And you definitely should buy it as well. Yeah. It's it was fun to write and it seems to have been popular. 
and uh, yeah and if anyone wants to even have a chat about tremors on Twitter or whatever please get in touch and always happy to discuss tremors Twitter handle well my Twitter is John J-O-N underscore Melville M-E-L-V-I-L-L-E or it's just tremors guide that's the other one that's the easier one to get on, on Twitter as well cool 